This brief video demonstrates true knowledge based machining in the form of EdgeCam Strategy Manager. Let's begin by selecting these hull features and applying a strategy. The strategy has manufactured the part by selecting a drill and a hole cycle for the smaller holes, but for the larger holes the strategy prefers to select an end mill and helically interpolate the hole. The strategy acts on the intelligence built inside a solid feature. Here we can view not only the diameter, but many other specific details concerning the hole. It's these feature characteristics which drive Strategy Manager. So let's have a look at Strategy Manager itself. And at the core is a graphical flowchart. There's no need for high level programming language. The logic is displayed through pictorial diagrams, which utilizes the programmer's knowledge. I'm now going to remove the logic which allowed our process to helically machine the larger of the holes. We should now have a process that simply selects drills and creates whole cycles. So let's put that theory to the test by returning to EdgeCam and reapplying the strategy. Remember the whole feature diameters are 16 and 28 millimeters respectively. We expect appropriately sized drills to be selected. So there we have it. Seven cam instructions containing tool changes and drill cycles. I'm now going to introduce the logic which created the original helical machining method. A strategy is merely mimicking what happens inside EdgeCam. Therefore, I will now manually create the CAM instructions which allow the method to helically machine the 28mm hole. By doing this, you'll understand how easy Strategy Manager encompasses the best practice machining methods and thus reduces your probing time. I've selected an end mill and I've created a profiling cycle set to helical. Using the standard Windows feature cut, copy, paste, I now output each process and paste it into the strategy. I'm allowed to rename the process to something more appropriate, in this case call for an end mill. I'm going to repeat that same procedure for the helical profiling cycle. Paste it into the processes. Rename it. As I expand this process, we see the commands and the modifiers common to the profiling cycle. Let's just check that Helical is still active. All these modifiers are familiar to EdgeCam programmers. So it's now time to introduce some logic. In our case, we wish to use Helical machining only if the whole feature is greater than 20 millimeters. So through a right-hand click, I've created a decision node and I'll retitle this decision node and state a constraint. Now the constraint is going to say is this hole greater than 20 millimeters? I'm going to do this constraint by picking one of the features that we saw before. These features are numerous and programmers can select any feature they wish. In this case I'm obviously going to select diameter. I'll now amend the logic flow to include my decision. The process starts and I redirect the logic into the decision node. If the hole is smaller than 20 millimeters, we simply need to call the drill. Thus I select the X or the no command. But of course, what happens if the hole is greater than 20 millimeters? Well, we use the two new processes. Once again, I simply use drag and drop and I arrange the flow accordingly. Notice now I've selected the tick or the yes logic from the decision node. Once the profiling cycle is complete, I move the logic back to the tool change. So the task is nearly complete. I'll save the strategy and head back to EdgeCam and we'll test it once again applying the same strategy. Instead of drilling the 28mm hole, we now expect to see helical profiling. That's worked. The 16mm hole is still being drilled, but having correctly summoned an end mill, the 28mm hole is now being helically machined. Thanks for spending time today to examine EdgeCam Strategy Manager.